Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please find me like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, there is about to be a great fight, you know. <laughs> there is going to be a very heavy fight. <laughs> you see the way I'm laughing. I'm just relaxed taking this message. <laughs> Oh, God of mercy. <laughs> the Bible says, when they shall call me in one way, in seven ways they shall flee. <clears throat> they will, this time, they are not just going to flee. They are, they are going to start blaming themselves for coming for you at all. They are going to start blaming themselves. Yes. They are going to start blaming themselves. The battle has taken to another level, you know. We have taken the battle to the front to the front gate of the enemy. You understand? So when they come in, in one way, they are not just going to flee, but after they have flee, they will start fighting themselves. Blame me who brought your issue to them. Yes. <laughs> I just laugh. You know, the word of God says that he has given us the power to tread upon serpent and scorpion. They shall by no means hurt you. Why they were coming, they thought they would be able to hurt you so badly. With comfort. They came with cutlass. <laughs> they came with sword. They came with iron. They came with everything. There is somebody you are hearing me. You are like, ah, the enemy has fought me with everything. They have fought you with everything. They put mark, mark your body, different kinds of things. They have fought you. They have oppressed you even in your sleep. They have oppressed you in your dream, in your place of all. They have oppressed you. Like they have fought you with everything you can think about as a human being. <laughs> yes, they fought. <clears throat> the fight that they, they, have, they fought you. They never thought it was going to be as heavy as that. They came with a lot of confidence. Mm, mm. You know, when I'm saying this word, I can feel it in my spirit, the way they are marching. Mm, mm. We are going to kill him. We are going to do this. But when they got there, they met with something that is powerful than them. That is the power of Yahweh. Hallelujah. That is the power of Yahweh. There is an angel of war that fight for his people hallelujah glory to jesus so because god is the one that is fighting for you there is no weapon that will form a fashion against you that will ever prosper so they are fighting themselves because it is always someone the insider that always bring the issue of someone to them if your issue was not table to them they will not come for you that is why the Bible says a mass enemy as a member of his household. That is why the Bible says if it were to be my enemy that did this to me, I would not be able to bear it. He said, but my friend, somebody that I call my own is the one that betrayed me. That is why the heart is become so deep. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. But no matter who brought your issue to a satanic table, they make a mistake. Because God is by your side. Hallelujah. Because the angel of the Lord is fighting for you. Yes. Those that came in comfortably to come and fight you with all their weapons. They flee because the Bible says even when they come like a flood. Can you, have you seen a flood coming before? It's like a tsunami. As heavy as it might be. But the Bible says the spirit of the Lord will raise the standard. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus God raises a standard against them. And they start fighting themselves. I tell some of us, if God open our eyes to see the battle he's fighting for us, some of us will ask God to close our eyes back. There are so many people who God will never open their eyes to see some certain things. Because if they see some certain things, they will be scared. 
to be alive. I ah, know this is what is going on spiritual life. God, open your eyes. You will see people walking with their head. You will see people on the street like their head is on is their is their leg. They are walking. God, open your eyes. You will see arrows like this. Whew, whew, whew. What is escaping? The people of God are escaping. God, open your some people. There are some Christians that God will never open their spiritual eyes because if they see some certain things, the day I saw arrows. <laughs> I say, wow, this is tough. It, it does not come as one. It's like this. And I have to tell God, ah, if this one is going to kill me, if this is your will. Oh, it did not kill me. You know? Even me, myself, the first time I saw her, I was scared. Ah, well, I said, God, this is, you know. So there are some of us that God will not open our eyes to see some certain things because He knows what we can handle. He know, he know what will not kill us, what will not break our spirit. So, what will not remove salvation from our path. So, he will not allow us to see those things. But, those things that come against us, God is aware. He raises his standard against them. All we need to do is to stand still. And we will see his salvation always. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. There is about to be a great fight within your enemies because they came in comfortably to destroy your body. They flee in confusion. The Lord help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.